Hey, Ben Hollis here in Batavia, Illinois, a river oasis known for windmills, Fermilab, old buildings that are being turned into beautiful new things, and would you believe it? Wildness! And wild stands for what I love doing. All right. I'm in the Water Street Studios, which used to be an old windmill factory, and then during World War II, they stored ammunition here. But it's also home of an art gallery and shared space for artists. And tonight, we're gonna meet a very creative guy, Mike Foster. Wait, do you go by Mike? Actually, people usually call me Michael. Michael Foster. <laughs> Tell me again, who are you? Well, I'm Michael Foster, actually. We were met many, many years ago. We did, uh, I was doing Wild Mokina while you were doing Wild Chicago. Uh, Mokina wasn't the most wild place, but you were very encouraging to a 15-year-old version of myself, and I greatly appreciate that. And Michael, what's your role here? How do you fit into the picture? My wife is a resident. I'm a member of Water Street Studios. This is the place to be. Water Street Studios is what is wild about Batavia. <laughs> and you'll see by all the wild artwork all around the facility. <laughs> so what's happening here tonight, Michael? Well, tonight we're setting up for the third anniversary show. Water Street Studios has been here three years. And that's Steve Lockwood right there. He's the guy who's in charge. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Hey, Steve, what, what, what's your role here, sir? Uh, I am the gallery director here. Yavon! Da, 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 da. Oh, man, this is gorgeous. This is as nice as anything anywhere I've seen. Um, this is uh, my entry into the uh, third anniversary show. It's a painting I did while I was in Fort Townsend, Washington. It's called I Feel Loved. Where are you in that painting? I'm not really in this painting, actually. <laughs> this isn't my... I never like to explain the paintings too much because I find that people will spill their own uh, life story into it. A lot of my work in marketing, design, advertising, painting, art, writing, entertainment development, a lot of it you know, sort of evolves from that idea of how do you approach something from a completely different perspective? Everybody has a unique viewpoint. Everybody has, there's six, seven billion viewpoints right now. This piece is called Predictions. This is one of those paintings that I, I, I forgot that I painted it. I just like to look at it and I'm like, oh wait, that's right, I did that one. I can't. <laughs> Sometimes you, you step out of yourself as the artist and and you just enjoy something for what it is. And I love, I love it when work is that way. Hey, you mentioned graphic arts and some commercial aspects of your work too. So tell me a little bit about that. It's so funny, I've fallen into, I think, at least a dozen careers in my life. I mean, I started off just being a cartoonist. I illustrated a, a bunch of uh, children's menus for a chain of restaurants in Texas. And then um, after that, I started falling into web design, graphic design. I actually worked in television for years. And then by the time I was 20, I had DreamWorks looking at one of the shows I was working on. Um, it was uh, called Barcelona. It was about an LA girl that moves to a small town. The story of that goes is because when I was doing the Barcelona pilot episode, I didn't have a design team to design the proposal. So it was like, well, I had to do it myself. You know. I was working with the early version of Photoshop and I ran back and forth to Kinko's a dozen times and I prepared this really nice little presentation. And the guys at DreamWorks, when they looked at the show, they said, well, we're going to pass on the show, but who designed the portfolio? It's so lovely. And so well, that was me, actually. They couldn't believe that some you know, college kid came up with this really nice presentation. I think I started swaying more into the graphic arts. Now we can take a look at the studio. Actually, I can't claim the studio. It's my wife's studio, but I pretty much hang here all the time and she uh, gives me a... Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey, do I get one of those later? Maybe. <laughs> I married that girl. <laughs> How did that happen? Sorry. Michael! You know, this is Wild Batavia, and wild stands for what I love doing. Michael, what do you love doing? I'm always being asked to do something that I've never done before. A friend of mine, Russell Smith, out of Seattle, he's a writer, and we started a nonfiction project together uh, called Digital Fire, uh, Living in the Age of Reinvention. Technology is forcing us to be much more reinventive. We have no choice that the technology around us is gonna force us to not become too complacent for a long period of time. But that's not a bad thing, that's not a scary thing. It could actually be a really wonderful thing. It could bring about a golden uh, era of art, of, of entertainment, of, of knowledge. It's, it's gonna be a really amazing time. Does your own career give testimony to this idea? Oh yeah, I mean, I've had to reinvent it myself a dozen times over. I do everything I always wanted to do, um, but the, as the technology became much more complex, I had to relearn 
how to do the things that I did and do them better. And it's the, the skill set that I learned. It helps when I work with clients, it helps when I work and when I have to get into my business mode and we're and we're dealing with somebody's website or somebody's advertising campaign. A lot of it is reinvention. It's taking what people already know about somebody and then reanalyzing it and presenting it in a different light. And of course doing it honestly. Michael, who are the perfect clients for you? What kinds of people are you looking to work with? Oh, everybody. I've been fortunate enough to work with very large companies and then I've also most of my work has been you know small medium-sized businesses if people in the end they say well what's the core of it yeah I do all this design I do art I do everything but a lot of it is to answer that question where are we going and why and it's uh, it's just it's fun I, I love what I do I do does that make me wild Michael how can people get in touch with you well they can just go on our website boojazz.com that's b-o-o-j-a-z-z -Z. and my number is 425-495-0415 and check out Water Street Studios at waterstreetstudios.com there's a lot of phenomenal things happening here